Hello everyone and now welcome to a game, Happy vs. Romantic, this game taking place here on a shallow grave. On the top left hand side of the map we have Romantic spawning under the name, no name, as the purple human. Meanwhile Happy the pretty in pink undead on the bottom right. Should be a great great matchup here, two of the well most well known players, human vs. undead, um, shallow grave. Um, alum. An interesting map in that there are a lot of green creep camps, there's a lot of different paths to go, and, and well, you just have to be on your toes in terms of what's happening. A lot of green creep camps here. I believe a lot of the modern map people or the modern map makers have been making it so that two green creep camps um, generally will get you from level one to level two. I believe one orange creep camp. Um, well, in this instance, we will not get you to level two. Um, I believe this this one, yes, this one will. So um, I know that they were trying to find some way to get a little bit more um, like standard information out there, not have not have to study all of the maps, figure out creeping patterns, things of that nature. Um, a little bit of an info for you guys. Uh, I will be traveling next week. I know for all of you guys out there who follow me regularly and weekly, thank you very much. I'll be out of town and probably will not be casting. And we'll, we'll see what that looks like. Um, well, we'll see if I get rejuvenated, refreshed, and recharged from that. Coming back around, Lich first coming across from Hampi. Tomb of Relics already nearly done. You're going to see a Rod of Necromancy, Dark Ritual as that second ability, maybe even selling that Scroll of Town Portal early. Meanwhile, off to the north here, we're going to be looking at the Archmage and Footmen, perhaps some Militia Creeping to get this party going as well. Pretty much no crazy shenanigans here. Archmage, Militia, Footmen, I'm all getting trained up. There's one Footman there. There's two Footmen already out. I'm going to go straight after that Renegade Wizard. There's a Lightning Shield. And look at that. All of that free damage being applied to so many targets. All right. Free damage still racking up right there. Water Elemental taking damage. There's another Lightning Shield. That's quickly going to get finished off here. Archmage trying to back away. Is he going to accidentally get a kill off? with that lightning shield no he doesn't nicely handled and executed by romantic to quickly quickly clear out the creep camp without letting that lightning shield well um allowing that lightning shield to deal damage without it getting any kills thereby well losing a bit of that experience all right four stroll high priest opens things up gets frost nova quickly gonna get taken out there's level two on that lich already the sasquatch with inner fire pretty much being ignored going after all of these forest troll trappers instead that medium armor and that high damage 21 to 25 makes it a, a higher priority target as it's easily cleared up um, and with lower hit points and while well, also taking more damage there archmage is sitting at level two archmage has survivability items but well will not um, most likely um, survive all that much Ring of Protection and Talisman of Evasion, as we all know, very effective at, well, dealing with auto attacks, but the Death Knight, the Lich combination, just all of those hero nuking spells targeting, targeting that lower hit point Archmage, um, what really wants an amulet of spell shield or additional resistance to all of that spell damage. Coming back around, Lich is sitting at level 2, nearly at level 3, gonna get there. And with that, level 2 Frost Nova is on the table. Archmage comes around here, Mantle of Intelligence, a little bit of bonus damage attacking. Ziggurat already nearly up to level, or, or already up to the Nerubian Tower. Uh, ghoul trying to lead the charge here. Happy actually still continuing to lead with that Ghoul. That is a surprise. Water Elemental going to come back around, getting a little bit of splash. That Water Elemental will just return back to the ground here, splash into nothing, and will get into a giant pool of, well, grass there we are lich now up to 275 mana ghoul gonna continue to test the waters and both sides here are just letting their economic game go strong for them you can see that the haunted gold mine is nearly done this town hall was sped built that's why it is already done here and both sides just trying to do a little bit of poking making sure they know where their opponent is at and and therefore knowing wh where they are kind of at in the same situation. If you, if you have time away from your opponent, that also means your opponent has time away from you. 
And with that, they can do additional creeping, clear out creep camps, and just like you are, or perhaps do it more efficiently. Lich gonna go, perhaps go after that footman here. A Frost Nova could go down, but I believe there's enough separation here. And once that uh, footman gets below about 250 hit points, then it does get, or, two, or 300 hit points, then it does get within Frost Nova range um, for follow up attacks and will get cleaned up here. However, perhaps he doesn't want it, the Lich doesn't want to just trade one for one here. There's a little bit of engagement. There's that Frost Nova. That footman was a bit too far and will get cleaned up. Meanwhile, the ghouls are going to come back around. Are we going to see the death of a ghoul trying to add in some damage onto that unit right there? Archmage auto attacking a little bit more slowly and what well, does end up getting well, denied by a dark ritual dagger. All right, denying the experience there, getting a little bit of healing. The second water elemental now down and suddenly well, the literal tide has turned against these water uh, against these ghouls as the water elementals spray that piercing damage across. Archmage is in a little bit of trouble. You see, he's taken a couple num a number of frost novas and has now fallen um, below 200 hit points. Meanwhile, Necropolis trying to get constructed here. There's a Nerubian tower, and well, we're already off to the races. There's a third water elemental there. Lich perhaps going to turn back around. Water elemental going to get some big, big, easy damage against that building there, as now we're looking at the footmen going after um, these ziggurats and these acolytes. Archmage does uh, try to deny a footman there. No such luck. Archmage could go after these acolytes here. One or two more shots. There's a summons up another water elemental. Could have gotten two auto attacks in. Leaves the water elemental behind. Are we going to see the yes, downing of a ghoul as we're looking at still more dark ritual? That dark ritual could put pressure onto that archmage, but the water elementals are now putting pressure back onto the main base here. All right, looking to get in more damage again. Acolytes trying to get away. Acolyte down to 30 hit points. Remember, regeneration on Blight is rather high. That that's why that Acolyte was able to stay alive as long as he has. All right, ba already back up to 40 hit points and, c and continuing to get higher as both sides are just, well, constantly, constantly trying to keep things going. All right, Happy down to 259 here. Is the Lich going to get off a Frost Nova? That is the question. Archmage drops another Water Elemental as the Lich could get a Frost Nova off against a Footman there, and now that Footman is going to get denied once more. All right, still more water elemental, more pressure on into this necropolis is going to force another cancellation. It is refunding a little bit of that gold, but refunding gold, um, well, you still lose a little bit of that gold every single time you cancel a building. Happy taking a strong economic hit, just trying to keep this, well, base up. The difference, however, is going to be the losses. Another f Acolyte getting taken out. We are uh, at Halls of the Dead, so we can train up more Acolytes here as the Archmage is going to be forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal to get away. And now, well, is that Footman going to make it? Yes, he will. Escapes away at 32 hit points. Archmage, Scroll of Regeneration, most likely inbound waiting for, wait not quite sure what he's waiting for there it goes finally goes for it there had plenty of gold didn't really spend it does also buy a potion or, or a potion of healing and a scroll of town portal tier two already done with tier three now being started mounting king getting trained up and we're going into dual barracks is the blacksmith already down yes blacksmith is already down we should be looking at workshops as well fly machines and knights most likely the obvious transition for romantic back in the base of happy the death knight now about to make its way back onto the battlefield there are dual crypts a slaughterhouse as well archmage perhaps gonna drop uh, drop some water elementals here i don't believe footmen have defend just going after that forest troll warlord the water elemental taking quite a bit of damage finally gonna get finished off that forest troll high priest has given pretty much inner fire and constant healing to so many targets Water Elemental now dropped here. Where is that Archmage going? Archmage is leading away as the Mountain King is going to pick up a Potion of Invulnerability, clear up the remainder of this 4-3-3 creep camp, and, well, no level ups for any of the human units. Meanwhile, Lich has picked up True Shot Aura, Death Knight, now Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus 3, and a Potion of Invuln or a Lesser Potion of Invulnerability going after all these units. Death Coil, Frost Nova, straight up onto that Rogue Wizard first, quickly gonna get taken out. Tome of Strength plus two, picked up. 
to finish off that Rock Golem slightly faster, better auto attacks, as the Ogre Lord easily gets surrounded here. All right, Forest Troll Berserkers making their way over. Ogre Lord getting taken or taking down one Footman. Warsong Battle Drum is going to be picked up. A little bit more damage bonus again. Are we going to be looking at another Storm Bolt on that Ogre Magi, perhaps? No, we are not. Mounting King and Archmage staying at a uh, different level as this Ogre Magi just completely being ignored. All right. In this situation, you, um, you're trying to be more efficient than your opponent, but you don't really know what your opponent is doing. You don't have eyes on them, and you just kind of got to sprint as hard, as fast as you can. All right, this Rock Golem Creep Camp going to get cleared out quickly. Mountain King shows up. There's a couple flying machines. This does provide sight or, or after all of these trees and up while you're up on this high ground. Sight cannot be... Um, well, s expressed enough here. Sight, incredibly important. Book of the Dead also dropped. So, well, Romantic has a small window of opportunity to use this Book of the Dead effectively before the Slaughterhouse starts training up, um, well, Destroyers and Devour Magic just loves eating up a Book of the Dead for breakfast. All right, what's unfolding here? Archmage gonna try and perhaps put a little bit of pressure finding the obsidian statues in the backfield. Instead, gonna be going after some of these other targets. There's Banshees out here as well. Stormbolt um, going after a quick ghoul target. There goes one ghoul. Banshees are out. They're gonna go ahead and teleport away. But what does that mean? Do we still go for knights with animal war training knowing that Banshees with possession are already a possibility? Knights, well, Warsong Battle Drums also um, going to be benefiting here. Perhaps going to try and clear out this red creep camp in the bottom left-hand side of the map. Get that Mountain King to level 3. Also has some Griffins as well. And here we are, quite straight up Stormbolt onto the Forest Troll High Priest. That Forest Troll High Priest taking large amounts of damage um, because of those Sundering Blades. Water Elemental quickly gets taken out. Mountain King and Paladin here left behind. Paladin or Mountain King gets up to level 3. Now I'm going to back away. Thank you for the sub as we're looking at the Force Troll Berserker and other units getting cleaned up here. Paladin now at level 2. All right. Footman, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Um, yep. Waiting for this one Footman to actually get taken down as well. He gets taken out as we're looking at an expo on the bottom left. Thank you for the sub. Every little, every sub definitely helps. Every bit helps. Um, you know, keeps the channel going. Um, don't do it for the money, but definitely helps to know that. Um, well, I am well well received by the community. Coming back around, there's a nice big massive thunderclap across all of those units. They're gonna quickly teleport out. I believe the Mountain King, yeah, has sold that Book of the Dead. We're already at destroyer range, so you don't want to give your opponent as such an easy advantage if possible. We are looking at dual cannon towers, surprisingly, as the Death Knight and well, ghouls are already rushing out across the battlefield. Their movement speed so so fast. This ghoul with frenzy um, moving across the map here. Lich gonna get ready to go. There's going to be some trying to repair here. Quick Death Coil Frost Nova as we're looking at, well, a Book of the Dead being used here. All right. Go oh, are we going to see some cannon towers? There's a massive thunderclap. More units trying to retreat back away. Mountain King level 2 thunderclap there. We are looking at immolation also on that Mountain King as we're looking at some repairs. All right. Death Coil trying to go down onto the Griffin Rider. Griffin Rider gets a big heal. Flying machines are there. Staff of Sanctuaries for the save as the Death Knight while trying to take down this Town Hall. Not going to be able to do so. Banshee gets easily cleaned up. Focus fired by the Riflemen to make sure that Okay, there's a flare there. No flare. Flare trying to figure out where exactly his opponent is and where they're going to be rushing off to. Mountain King still sitting at well, level 3 Cloak of Flames coupled with that level 2 Thunderclap. So powerful at, at taking down like go-wide armies. Here we are. Here we go. Mountain King, is he going to try and Thunderclap here? No, he's going to get silenced as we're looking at this engagement go on. All right, Mountain King just rushing across here. We're looking at this giant sea turtle. Perhaps could easily get cleaned up. There goes an easy um, clean as the Banshees are currently at mastery training, but I don't see any possession as of yet. There goes a Stormbolt down trying to pick off a low hit point unit. There goes some more mortar teams splashing as we see a Staff of Sanctuary save a unit. Mountain King unable to finish off that low hit point ghoul there as both sides are still... 
while trying to test the water. 64 supply compared to 80. Romantic having the clear supply advantage, but unable to well grab a clear victory in this battle. Retreating back, trying to get stronger economics going, rebuilding up those towers here. We're going to see a slight fight as the Banshees, well, are going to lay down some quick, quick anti-magic shell to try and protect the Crypt Beam, but that's not going to be enough. All right. Mountain King still currently okay. More lobbing attacks, perhaps going after the Griffin Riders, finding the weak, weak units, those weaker, weaker Banshees in that back line as uh, some splash damage is applied and then allowing for things to open up. Low hit point night once more. Are we going to see a potion of invulnerability? Yes, we are. Mo more sides fighting their way through. Mountain King has, well, 15 seconds of invulnerability, but will be forced to back up. Paladin now trying to retreat back. There's a holy light there. More fighting getting underway. More splashing, more poking around as the Death Knight is low on mana too. All right, Mountain King, what is he looking to say? He's, uh, well, Potion of Invulnerability has come to an end. More lobbing attacks here. And that back line, absolutely scary, strong. There are no destroyers to actually go after the mortar teams in the back. But even if there were, the riflemen, could shoot them down even though they are cursed there are just so many of them that uh, by the time the destroyers got within a range of the mortar teams they would be so low on hit points it would be hazardous to their health all right 86 supply romantic now currently in high upkeep there's a quick quick kill on a mortar team and uh, well once that lich reaches level five having access to level three frost nova you better believe those mortar teams are well in trouble I still think that mortar teams, I don't know, Blizzard, if you are listening to me, um, mortar teams are the only siege units that are targetable by Frost Nova, Death Coil, those types of spells, um, making them one of the weaker siege, siege units because of their spell vulnerability. Give dwarves who, nor no, you know, lore-wise have well, magic resistance, the ability to um, get a little bit of magic resistance, help riflemen and mortar teams. Anyways, coming back around, more lobbing attacks landing underway here. More poking. Are we going to see the Mountain King? Yes, get, try to get a Storm Bolt off on a Crypt Fiend. Going to be able to do exactly that. There's a Death Coil. Uh, units are going to try and retreat back again as the lobs are still going through. Yeah, Mortar Team's incredibly strong. There's a Death Coil right on the Crypt Fiend just in time. Mortar Team still lobbing attack. There's some Holy Lights as well, trying to finish off some of those Banshees. Perhaps some of that splash damage going to go down. Another Death Coil could be inbound as the Mountain King could be in trouble. Potion of Invulnerability, and there's a Deny. There's a Staff of Sanctuary. This is a constant tug of war, push and pull battle. And economically speaking, though, Romantic is further behind. He is currently getting, I believe, 12 gold a second um, uh, compared to Happy's 14 gold a second since he is in high upkeep. There's some rejuvenation. Cannon towers are here. All right, Lich could make its way over. Perhaps try to get a Frost Nova down. It would disrupt all of that healing. We're going to look at some dark rituals as well. Remember, cannon towers actually have fortified armor and making them that much more powerful and resistant to this, um, well, undead army's attacks. More healing getting underway. Are we going to be looking at, well, anti-magic shell offering a lot of protection? Banshees are out here. Are we going to be looking at possession? No, there's a Staff of Sanctuary saving. So Staff of Sanctuary on the Archmage and the Paladin to constantly teleporting units back home. The Dark Ranger, after all this time, still only sitting at level one. There's another potion of invulnerability there. Staff of Sanctuary saving another unit again. Crypt Fiends landing down a couple of webs, trying to force a couple of fights as the ban as the Mountain King tries to test the waters. There goes a Spellbreaker there as more Mortar Teams are joining in on the fight again. More lobs, more attacks, and a little bit of well, friendly splash damage there as another two Crypt Fiends get taken down. Holy Light and, well, Splash Collateral Damage. All right, Mortar Teams landing those attacks. Archmage falls at level 4. However, double level up for Paladin and Mountain King as well. Um, well, as the Water Elementals are going to start, well, turning into puddles. And that could give the level uh, Dark Ranger level 2. Come on, wait for it. Come on, wait for it. There's that level 2. All right. Crypt Fiends, Banshees, Obsidian Statues, Flying Machines out ahead here. That's a lot of Mortar Teams trying to find splash damage onto all of those Crypt Fiends. The art, I would have thought that the Lich would have been able to start targeting that back line now, just get a little bit of damage and then pick off a Mortar Team one at a time. But it feels like these Obsidian Statues, yeah, they are pretty much all out of mana. And pe because, oh, this is a weird situation. 
undead normally doesn't have this many casters. But because there are so many Banshees out here on the battlefield, the Obsidian Statues have drained their mana much more quickly while providing hit points and mana to the overall army. Because of that, the Lich and the Death Knight are currently low on mana, while the Obsidian Statues are, well, pretty much dry, trying to do healing, healing and mana recovery for this large, large army. All right, Lich coming back away. There's a quick Death Coil onto the Lich. Lich is currently saved. No Orb of Fire, so that heal was for full. Both sides fighting their way through. Are we looking at the Mountain King Paladin trying to make their way across? Archmage is here as well, leading the charge, providing a a little bit of, well, that brilliance aura is so important for that Mountain King and that Paladin. Not any other casters here. Archmage nearly at level 5. Going to pick up perhaps, yeah, Scroll of Town Portal to get out of this tight spot. There goes a Frost Nova down across all of these low hit point units. And now that could be the problem. If these riflemen will get picked off too easily, um, that's going to continue to feed in more experience the other way. Mortar Team's continuing to lob more attacks here. And then trying to find some targets. There goes a well, Banshee finally getting splashed down. Archmage gets up to level 5. Is he going to go for level 3? Water Elementals, yes he is. So much anti-magic shell turning, or so much mana turning into anti-magic shell to prevent damage from that Mountain King. But we're still seeing Crypt Fiends fall because of the eventual wear and tear from Knights, um, Riflemen, and Mortar Teams again. This has been a long, drawn-out battle, and both sides here are just trying to vie for position. Meanwhile, in the top right, we can see Happy is currently um, haunting an additional gold mine. We have two operational gold mines for Romantic. Paladin quickly gets splatted down right there. No time for that Divine Shield as he falls at level 3. All right, the more important thing, perhaps one of the, uh, another important loss is the loss of a Staff of Sanctuary in that battle. Mountain King trying to push in pressure here. Is he going to be able to finish off that Lich? No, he is not. But a lot of Banshees are, are also going splat. Remember, they're unarmored units. And because they are unarmored, they are constantly taking large amounts of damage every time there is a volley. All right, going to go ahead and get a tactical retreat out here. 71 supply compared to 81. Army sizes are the same. Romantic only getting 8 gold a second, though. This one extra peasant actually, well, making it slower. All right, not a progressive tax rate here in Warcraft 3. It is a flat out. You make over a certain amount. Well, you're all suddenly paying a lot, lot more. Um, Coming back around, Riflemen coming in to engage. Mortar teams continuing to lob more attacks. Mountain King trying to lead in the charge. Spellbreaker easily gets taken down. Mountain King could be in trouble. Down to 319 hit points. He's trying to retreat back. Cannon Towers no longer lobbing the attacks, but the Mortar teams still able to do so easily. Death Knight now gets up to level 4. Paladin comes back around, but the, remember the Paladin... Um, well, resurrected at the tavern, going to be in an uncomfortable spot. Needs to take the long way round to get back in with everyone else. All right. Brilliant or a little bit more here. We're looking at a knight trying to clean up a couple of acolytes, and they're going to be able to do exactly that, that faster movement. Um, now well, heading back away from those acolytes there, knowing that they don't want to actually engage thank you for the sub am i getting i wish i could t i believe wow thank you for the subs um definitely supporting the channel hope you guys are enjoying things 23 minutes into this game still no, no clear victor yet romantic sitting at 58 supply actually having a smaller army but rem wow um nothing really going on here is there any lumber oh um, Happy could have lumber issues if he is not careful. Mountain King now trying to lead the charge here. No level 6 heroes yet. Stormbolt finding a Crypt Fiend, but anti-magic cell protecting against most of it. Are we going to see a Thunderclap? No, instead Frost Nova, Death Coil onto the Mountain King. Could be in trouble. Staff of Sanctuary able to back away. Both sides still continuing to fight. Mortar teams finally show up to the party, trying to lob these attacks here. Get in some big AoE damage. Dark Ranger gets up to level 3 in this very, very tight, narrow corridor of a fight here as the ghouls are getting taken down. All right. Denying of a couple of Crypt Fiends. Death Knight comes across. Death Coil, Frost Nova onto some more Mortar teams. And the line 
lines are completely, completely melted away. Both sides are just engaging very heavily as the Death Knight, still putting in pressure. Archmage down to seven hit points. He gets, he gets taken down. Paladin, the lone hero left, and Romantic may have been able to find a way to break through in this matchup. All right, are we looking at a couple of more kills here? Death Knight, or Paladin could easily Holy Light finish off a Crypt Fiend. Lich is still fighting their way through. What is going on in this fight here? There goes a Crypt Fiend. He does get splatted down by a Holy Light as the Archmage shows back up. All right. Both sides still fighting their way through. Archmage could be in trouble. Lich does have mana. Death Knight does have mana. Death Coil, Frost Nova inbound. Most likely instead going after the Mortar Teams here as the Lich now gets up to level 6. 61 supply compared to 57. Both sides suffering heavy, heavy casualties. Mountain King comes across, recharged by that Staff of Sanctuary, ready for another bout of battling. All right, Staff of Sanctuary saving their mounting, or I believe the Archmage or Paladin got the Holy Light there once more as the units are still trying to back away. 61 supply, Crypt Fiends, well, constantly trying to web down additional targets. Are we going to see another Banshee get taken down? This Mortar Team trying to back away. Both sides, heavy casualties as Riflemen now try and continue to try and poke apart. Knights going after Crypt Fiends. It looks as though that Crypt Fiend, well, going to get taken out. Mountain King finding hits target again as the Death Knight still seen at level 4. Riflemen trying to retreat back 2-1 upgrades, keeping all of these units alive. All of the obsidian statues in the back still looking pretty strong. 57 supply compared to 50. Happy no longer in upkeep at all as both sides suffering heavy losses going into well 56 supply now compared to 63. Couple of Banshees. Wow. Banshees getting cleaned up there. There goes a Crypt Fiend as well and suddenly with a quick quick tide Lich going to be forced to teleport away. Crazy battle going back and forth. Everyone pretty much just dying. There's a cannon tower right here outside the range of this haunted gold mine. Um, we are looking at one operational gold mine going up against, well, what soon will be one operational gold mine as well. 26 minutes into this game, still no clear cut winner. Um, as we're looking at, well, the Paladin and Mountain King looking to get that last bit of experience. All right, Lich, Dark Ranger shows up. Are we going to see a bit of a fight here? Picking off Cross. There's a Stormbolt onto the Lich Rifleman. Now going to try and, and double back away, trying not to lose control of your units and have them fall in the middle of the battlefield here. Archmage, there goes a quick Frost Nova taking down a Rifleman. There's a Staff of Sanctuary for the save there. Lich does have death and decay and could easily perhaps try and take down some of these buildings. Death Knight, that, well, unholy aura, that faster or that very fast movement speed because of that unholy aura, such a big, big deal as this bottom left gold mine, the last mining location for Romantic. All right, Lich, well, quickly gets a Frost Nova off here. Is he just going to death and decay all of these buildings, including the towers? That would be an easy, easy um, destruction and, and insurance. There's a Death Knight now up to level 5. Mountain King could try and Stormbolt, but wouldn't really get much out of it. We're going to see a Dark Ritual there, a little bit of auto attack, and there's a Frost Nova going down on to that, well, Paladin to stop the pursuit. All right, 49 supply now for Romantic compared to Happy's 62. Economic advantage now swinging back over to Romantic, who at one time was in high upkeep. Romantic unable to capitalize on that larger um, population to put pressure on his opponent. And now perhaps going to try and build up a bank and, and, then tr and then burst into low upkeep. Hopefully, uh, maybe or sometime around the mid or t mid 60s. Oddly enough, Happy across over here needs to build up another Ziggurat. Needs to uh, needs to build up another Ziggurat here. Siege engines rolling on out, and, and now acolytes are trying to make their way over. All right, so this cannon tower going to provide a little bit of support here. Finally, is the hu human army going to show up? Yes, they are. Haunted gold mine, um, while well, taking quite a bit of damage. Dark Ranger trying to put in pressure, and here we are. Here we go. Army going to come in from the south, and the Mountain King going to go find a Stormbolt and then f quickly find a Banshee that needed to get taken out. Meanwhile, Knight getting staffed a preser or a sanctuary to back home because of a, of a possession that is a knight saved. 
All right, Stormbolt onto the um, Lich. Lich no longer giving chase. Water Elemental giving in free attacks. Are we going to see another shot on that? Yes, onto that Banshee. Banshee uh, quickly getting taken out there as we're looking at Holy Lights trying to save more of those units. There goes a Frost Nova and, well, more damage again and again. Water Elemental going to well, turn into a giant puddle. Death Knight now up to level 5. So 654 going up against 554 in terms of hero levels. Acolytes repairing this haunted gold mine here. Still mining down happening on the bottom left. I believe Knights, well, another workshop getting added in as Romantic now just going for mass siege engines. All right. Siege Engine trying to retreat away. 2-1 upgrades. Well, now double backing around. Could end up getting surrounded. Uncomfortable spot. Spotting a couple of, well, Obsidian Statues right in front. Here we are. Here we go. What is that Archmage doing? Running straight into that f uh, battle. Going in for a Staff of Sanctuary and gets Staff of Sanctuary. Um, well, teleporting in and in. This could be a problem. That Archmage is recovering hit points. And there's Death and Decay right there across all of these buildings. Well, the farms could get taken down, but a quick storm bolt it quickly stops that pressure there. There's a holy light. Archmage needs to jump back into this fight and has done so. Yeah, things are starting to look good for Happy. Happy has been able to hold off Romantic for so long. And Romantic is just... Well, it feels like he's just trying to claw at an opportunity to, uh, to find an opening in Romantic's... Um, well, in Romantic's defenses, it hasn't happened yet as Happy now has a 73 supply, 73 to 54 supply advantage, nearly a 50% larger army, 43 compared to 63 compared to Romantic. All right. At this stage in the game, well, mass triple lead training siege engines doesn't seem like the right call. But then again, if all of these acolytes are going to get taken down. That could be enough. All right, one knight here, a couple of easy units trying to take down this Nerubian tower. There's a Stormbolt finding an acolyte again. Siege Engine shows up, and, well, the army, uh, the undead army has to walk all the way back. There is no Necropolis here. Acolyte's going to end up falling. There goes another, and now trying to finish off all of those units. There goes another Acolyte. More Acolytes could continue in the fall here. Archmage down to 202 hit points. He's going to get Staff of Sanctuary back home. Paladin has Divine Shield. Mountain King could be in trouble. Is the Did the Mountain who used the uh, Staff of Sanctuary? That's the question. All three heroes have it, as the Siege Engines are going to well, blow over this Haunted Gold Mine here. Happy still has enough gold to haunt the gold mine again as the siege engines now roll back. All right, economic advantage for Romantic, but can he carry enough of it? There's only 2,800 gold left in that gold mine. More siege engines are getting trained. 63 supply, and well, that is a lot of siege engines to try and deal with. One, two upgrades here. Anti-magic shell. Banshees cannot possess siege engines. That may be the, the strategy now, as if the Archmage can actually gain a mass teleport, uh, mass teleporting siege engines, uh, well, can lay waste to a bunch of buildings quickly. All right, Stormbolt onto the Lich. All right, Water Elemental trying to retreat away. Mountain King does have boots of speed trying to retreat, head back. What is going on? There's a Toma Strength plus two that's been sitting around and doing nothing. Is the Mountain King going to go for it? He is. He gets it. And now, uh, well, going to go around. Water Elemental blocks his way as the army is going to, uh, well, move together. Siege Engines finding room. Going to go to that Slaughterhouse quickly, try and take down the Slaughterhouse here. And it will fall. And now just going after buildings and infrastructure. Black Citadel is this... Uh, Black Citadel going to get pressured. The Siege Engines almost would have been better if it was in May... Or move in so they, they can start taking this down. Meanwhile, fight inside the center here. The hero is going to try and engage Paladin. It looks like he was sent... Uh, well, where did the Paladin go? Death Coil there. Did the Paladin get... Um, 
teleported back home. Yes, he did. Staff of Sanctuary teleported back home there as the units are still falling back once more. Archmage at level 5. There's a Stormbolt there. Knight ready to go. Paladin nearly ready. Back up to 775 hit points and should get there momentarily. Meanwhile, Siege Engines are still rolling through this base, taking down all of Happy's buildings. And we are looking at Siege Engines doing the same thing across here, trying to take down that Haunted Gold Mine again. The Ghouls are going after the Siege Engines more as we can see a couple of Siege Engines just rolling around here. All right, mass tanks against undead as the Archmage, Paladin, and Mountain King will roll out once again. We are looking at nearly two and a half minutes of gold left, 1,500 gold. This gold mine on the top right has been cleared up, but undead continuing to level up, now getting level five on that Dark Ranger as the Siege Engines go after more and more of these buildings. All right, one Siege Engine apparently not engaging, just kind of stalled out here, not doing anything as the Mountain King shows up to the party and says, you know what, let's finish off some of these other ghouls. All right, holy light. Each siege engine represents a damage, even if it has or a siege, it has taken a large amount of damage. Archmage gets up to level 6. All of the ghouls giving level 6, that's going to be a big deal as the siege engines can teleport in and out of combat and, and well, just at, um, well, repair themselves. Are we going to see a mass teleport retreat? We are. All right, a tactical mass teleport retreat of away. Acolytes getting finished off here. Are we going to see a Stormbolt onto that Acolyte um, or a Holy Light? Or nope, Ac uh, Knight just going to go ahead and... No, Knight doesn't even charge after it. Not quite sure what that was about. Don't leave um, things or just opportunities and units on the table there. Crypt Fiends being left behind here. We, this is a, now a base race scenario. Gold still getting mined out. Archmage going to go ahead and mass teleport to the center portion of the map. And with that, just going to try and move these units all around every which way. Siege engines off to the side here. These two armies are pretty much next to each other. They don't spot each other as this Temple of Ladam going to get cleaned up. Are we going to see a Staff of Sanctuary? We are. And the Archmage is just making things difficult for the undead army to finish off these siege engines, teleporting them back home easily. All right. Thirty-six minutes into this game, still no one really out ahead. Romantic sitting on a seventy-one supply compared to fifty-four supply advantage. Water Elemental is now heading across here, trying to put pressure on to this base, trying to take things down. Building after building is going to fall. Siege engine off to the north, going to roll in. Here we are. Here we go. There's the engagement against this Necropolis. Necropolis is going to fall, and once this Necropolis falls, a uh, well, Happy will start to be revealed. Army is going to come back around. That's a lot of focus fire. That siege engine is going to slowly back away. As more buildings, are we going to see a Staff of Sanctuary? No need, as Happy has left the game. Romantic, outlasting Happy here on Shallow Grave. Um, those siege engines, just too much to deal with. N um, and who would have thought units that could not be targeted by Frost, Nova, and Death Coil... Um, on the human army would be the downfall um, for the undead. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.